Welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. It's the 29th of November. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening in markets today and look at a couple of charts that caught our eye. Across the news, of course, we saw buy and resume in the US with all indices finishing slightly to the upside with the exception of the Russell 2000. And this was despite mixed messages from Fed members. It was a choppy session, though. We hit our highs in the middle of the day and then sold off a little bit, pairing those gains to some degree. We are seeing online retailers outperform on the back of Black Friday, Cyber Monday sales. US futures are slightly higher in Asia, though Asian markets are mixed. The ASX is one of the outperformers, 0.4% to the upside on softer CPI data that was released this morning. European futures are pointing to a cautious open and the VIX is moving towards September support. The US dollar index continues to look weak and has breached support. Gold closes near all-time highs is testing 2050 at the moment and copper is also testing 385 resistance in asia oil bounced a little bit but remains within a short-term range before the opec plus meeting and bitcoin closed at nine month highs just around that 38,000 level at this stage very key level it's been playing with that for the last three weeks as well as the australian cpi being lower the Reserve Bank of New Zealand kept rates on hold. Uh, later on this afternoon, we've got German CPI, Eurozone Consumer Confidence, and this evening we've got US GDP, which is the preliminary one, which is the most important of the three GDP numbers that are released, and the Q on QPCE data as well. The year on year PCE data, which is due tomorrow, is the more important PCE number, but maybe there'll be some inferences taken from that Q on Q number. Couple of charts that we are looking at today. Uh, we're going to start with the Australian dollar, US dollar. And despite that US dollar weakness, we are seeing the Australian dollar slightly weaker after a buoyant start. Uh, but it is starting to look a little double toppy. We're watching this pivot level at 66.36. If we breach that, we think we could move down towards 66 cents. Uh, one to watch as the day progresses. And on the ASX, we reported yesterday as a chart of the day that SQ2, a block ink, had breached the 200 MA continuation of buying in there up another 4%. We see this up potentially to 104 in the medium term. Certainly a test of 100 looks very much on the cards, which is a very healthy 6% return. Obviously, if we go higher than that, then we are in a roundabout there eight and a half percent territory trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now